The man is dead tonight after suffering an apparent heart attack behind the wheel of his car. Police say the unidentified driver was driving on the on-ramp of the Pontchartrain Expressway at Julia Street. The car then veered off the ramp onto the curb. He died at Charity, Charity Hospital. A New Orleans police officer posed as a pizza delivery man tonight in the arrest of a robbery suspect. The officer attached an electric pizza sign to an unmarked police car and went to 17-year-old Jermaine Bailey's house to make the arrest. Bailey is charged with one armed robbery and the stabbing of a woman in the Mid-City area. Police are also looking at Bailey in a number of other robbery cases. Deliberations are going into the seventh day in the drug and perjury trial of Washington, D.C. Mayor Marion Barry. The panel today asked to see the videotape of the FBI sting in which Barry was arrested in January. The jury has already reached a verdict in one of the 14 counts against Barry, but the judge in the case has asked the jurors to wait until their decisions are complete before making an announcement. Hip fractures are a major health concern for many people, especially the elderly. Years ago, older people who suffered hip fractures couldn't walk again and often didn't survive long afterward. But over the years, things have changed so much so that a new way of nailing fractured bones has many patients on their feet again the next day. Janet Lawhan is here to tell us about nailing bones. I knew you were going to pick up on that. It does Ooh. sound kind of painful, but it's really a good example of how bioengineering has helped to revolutionize orthopedics. Efforts to pin fractured hips over the past decade have often been thwarted because patients tend to put weight on these weak bones too soon, so the metal devices holding them together snap. This newer method, while not something many surgeons are trained in yet, seems to help patients start walking almost immediately, though still a bit gingerly. Really, like uh, thousands of Americans who fall off like something very very every year, back. including their feet, Stanley Hill has a hip fracture. He fell off a ladder while working on a roof. And I fell on a concrete floor on my hip. And I didn't really think I had broke it, but the x-rays proved different. And now there are different ways of repairing it. The older way referred to as pinning a hip. It ain't no simple little pin. Yeah, yeah it's a pin and, and it's a long side plate and screws. Versus the newer way, nailing hip fractures. The incision here is a two inch incision right here and another inch incision right here. The incision here is from here all the way down to here. The Gamma Nail Device, first approved in this country last year and introduced here by orthopedic surgeon Robert D'Ambrosia, actually fits into the bone, giving it much greater foundation so patients can put weight on it much faster. There's also less tissue damage, so less chance for infections. The big plus for patients is faster recovery. Well, this will get them up walking sooner. And more Full weight bearing with less t soft tissue trauma and less blood loss. That was yesterday when Stanley Hill underwent the new procedure. Today was the result. Okay, now just stand for a minute and just see how you feel. Doctors say Stanley Hill will go home tomorrow and be about his normal activities within a couple of weeks. But more roofing work may be about three months away. It was painful, but it's uh, miraculous. You know, I've never figured I'd be able to even put any kind of weight on it for about six months or so. So far, about 23 patients have received the gamma nail for hip fractures. More training seminars are slated for local surgeons soon, and the technique is expected to become widespread. Of course, there are problems that can happen with this, just like any other hip surgery, but so far, this seems very promising. And as someone in the crew just mentioned, right after it, you still wouldn't want to go running through the airport. That is right. Seen that is amazing. Ratcheting that into the bone. That's right, Garland. We didn't those. show you the best part, okay? Oh, <laughs> no reruns. Coming up, Ben McDonald goes for a record win against Oakland. And the latest on the friendly battle for the Saints' fullback position, Mike Haas has sports.